Okay guys, so this is uh, kind of an update on that vegetable garden we're putting in, the Hugo Culture Garden. So it's kind of rough. And um, this has been a really good project because I had leaves from the quail and I had logs from the two pear trees we took down. And uh, I had rocks that we were gonna do like a dry riverbed because uh, it drains really crap in our backyard, but we decided to do a buried uh, drain instead. So, um, so this kind of helped us use up the pile of rocks we had. I had some, this is actually broken up slab, concrete slab that we got on for free off of like Craigslist and some river rock from a couple, it's a very good friend of mine, Janet and Roger. Um, they used to live on a lake and they let me come dig up some river rocks from them. And so uh, that is gonna be, I think a warm bin is what my plan is. And so I've already planted some in this garden just cause they needed to get put in the ground and it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain the next two days. So that's a tree collar. That's a female Yalpon holly that makes tea, like a Japanese tea. That's a sea kale, borage, uh, ramps, another tree collar. And so you'll see, out, Loki, out, get out. Out of the garden, go. Thank you. Um, so you'll see that these are all raised to a culture bed. I know, you want in so bad. And, uh, sorry, my allergies are bad. I had tree collards, forage, some straight neck yellow squash, and then all along here, I've already planted some corn that should pop up. That'll kind of vine a little, and then I'm gonna put some beans along here too. But that line of rocks is because the whole yard really drains from there down and like from way over there down. So I put these rocks along the back because it's very likely that there's going to be some runoff along those rocks. And so I put the biggest rocks back there. There's a tricolor sage. These are goji berries. So it's supposed to rain the next today and tomorrow. And I really wanted to get this planted, but it has been such a task trying to get this finished, uh, these hugel beds. So we're done with the leaves. We're done with the, the wood. This is like my biggest hugel mounded bed. It's a good two feet uh, up. This is not hugel. So, you know, these are kind of my keyholes and I, I, I designed these so that I can step and I can squat woo, and I can reach the end of that bed without, you know, too much labor. So that's how I distance how far in to put these little keyholes you'll notice like the keyholes over here are much more long because this is a short, this is a shorter bed so uh anyway this is not going to be google um i'm just going to outline because this is actually going to go like this one more keyhole here and then a path back here to the warm soon to be warm bin uh, and the reason i did it like that these keyholes here and this bed here was because i want to do like a the cattle panel um, arbors right here and another one down there so that uh, I can grow some beans and some cucumbers on those um, so I'm actually really really proud of this project it uh, it's used up a lot of resources that were junking up the backyard the backyard looks really trashy um, because you know I gardeners are like I have these great plans and then we don't get it done so um, to use up these resources and have a vet ooh, sorry a vegetable garden that I'm actually really proud of and really like the look of uh, and I can just I can see what it's gonna be you know when I have a chance to really get it all worked in so I just kind of wanted to show you guys there used to be a huge mound of rocks there there was huge uh, mounds of wood in the backyard and uh, that those center blocks are actually gonna be used right here we're gonna dig out this dirt on the other side of the fence next to these pavers we put down because the yard just drains out this way okay so we're gonna put those uh center blocks here as sort of somewhat of a retaining wall uh just to keep the dirt from getting onto the pavers so bad and then we'll ex extend those pavers probably another three pavers over just so that we can get in here pretty easily um so that's uh that's the latest on the project i am I'm really, really pleased with the way it turned out. It's been a lot of work. I'm sorry I didn't get to video all of it, but honestly, it's one of those things where it's it's 
later in the season than I ever would have planted my vegetable garden uh, in East Texas. So I really just need to get it done. I didn't have time to really set up and fiddle with uh, videotaping. So that's uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So wish me luck on the worm bin. I've never done one of those before. Um, but I watched some videos on it. And I, I had this galvanized um, trough that I had used in the quail kennel. Um, I had wood at the bottom. It was a hoogle um, planter that I had in the quennel. And uh, I was like, well, what do I do with it now? I don't want to jump it up the backyard. And then I just realized, like, okay, I've been trying to find a, a bathtub to do my worm bin in because of the drain at the bottom. And then I watched some uh, YouTube videos and I'm like, well, duh, there's already a drain at the bottom of my trough. So I think this is going to work out really, really well. And it's about to rain on me, so that's going to be it for today. I'm, I'm really happy, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoy kind of looking at this with me, too.